hoping now, I am hoping this doesn't turn into a slate fest. Oh, don't. Go on, have a look at that. Yes, vegan cheese. It's not cheese at all. It's a coconut oil alternative. Jalapeno and chilli flavour. We don't do, really do anything that's vegan unless it's got a chilli taste to it or a chilli kick. So. If you can hear some knocking about, it's an idiot just gone in there. Uh, it's got a bag up because he's dying and he don't like it. Coconut oil alternative to a rumbly stomach. <laughs> uh, coconut, oil to, coconut oil alternative to jalapeno and chilli cheddar. Yes. Well, you don't get jalapeno and chilli cheddar, so how is it an alternative to it? Uh, well, I've never seen it. Anyway, milk free, vegan, gluten free. Did you read the back? No. Uh, gluten, wheat, and milk. Hey? How is it vegan? Oh, free. I was just going to say, how is it vegan if it's got milk? Gluten, wheat, and milk free food preparation made with coconut oil, with jalapeno and chilies. Uh, now, I don't know what normal cheese is, but does it come out that it's really fattening then? Because it's... Normal cheese is fairly, yeah. Uh, this is 21 grams of fat per 100 grams. I don't know what a normal cheese is. Well, I don't know, but that's half the packet then. Is... Yeah. You don't want to eat too much of it. I've got my doubts about this, I tell you now. Because vegan cheese, we've tried some bits on like vegan pizzas for a review and that. Some of it's good, some of it's disgusting. Oh, sorry. So, why don't you? I can't. You're just going to pick that. <laughs> oh. oh. Spaggy fingers. My fingernails are too long to grip it. Oh, even my stomach's rejecting it. <laughs> I ain't going to like this, I'll tell you now. It smells like uh, that Philadelphia stuff we made. Thumbs up to Morrison's though for doing an alternative for vegans because there's very little cheese and stuff out there that I think, yeah, I might try that. And this I looked at and thought, yeah. And just because it's coconut, I thought it might give it a bit more. In its defence, before he slates it, I can actually see chilli pips, bits of green jalapeno, I presume that is. I'll see if I can hold it up without it sliding off the plate. Can you see that? Okay. Gooey, it's hard. Gooey, gooey. <laughs> now you can speak Welsh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, so much. I don't added. know if this is designed to be eaten as a cheese. Oh, it's rejecting it. <laughs> if you can hear that grumbling, that's my stomach. I think it's meant to be more like a cooking cheese. I wouldn't want that on my crackers. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't want. It tastes sour. I thought it would. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. I thought it it would struggle. Bearing in mind we're not vegan or vegetarian. No, so, we're not. Yeah, I can't. I can only put what whether I think it's good for me. Uh, obviously, if you are vegan, you may like it because you've probably had stuff like this before. I so think I don't in know. cooking, if you had that on toast, I don't know whether it would melt properly, but if you had that on toast, it would be nice. Or on a pizza or something like that. But I suppose cheese is gonna be something that's really hard to imitate because everything in cheese is from an animal. So it must be really hard. Except the chilies. Yeah, but normal cheese ain't got chilies in. But I will eat it because I paid for it. It is hard texture. Uh, if you notice, it don't smell very nice. It smells like old cheese. It tastes it smells like you, you mm. forgot it were in the fridge. Mm. And yeah. Just and it tastes like see what's in it. old cheese. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't like the taste. No. It's not. I know the texture's not going to be there because it's vegan. So it's going to be a different texture. You can forgive it that. But I just don't like the taste. I'm not getting any chilli. No, no. Although you can see there's loads in there. Uh, I think if I was vegan, I'd find something else to have, to be fair. 
I'm going to use that on sandwiches, but it's going to have to be with something like piccolini. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, unless you're vegan, stay clear. Yeah, don't try it. It's not expensive, uh, and it's an alternative for vegans, so thumbs up to Morrison's for that. But I wouldn't eat it. Well, I wouldn't buy it again, definitely not. And I am going to I struggle. I eat it. <laughs> I'm going to struggle to find something to use it in. If it does melt, I don't know if it will melt, but if it does, we'll try it. It would be good to melt it or grater it into pasta. Mm. Because that'll work then. If it's in pasta, that sourness will come through um, with the pasta and it'll be nice. But it's not going to be really good for, like, like I say, crackers and that. And unless... No. That's what other vegan cheese is like. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Um, We've got, we don't eat vegan cheese. But our view, and to me, it is a better view to have from somebody that is not vegan. Yeah. Um, and not vegetarian. To actually see whether we'd say, yeah, we'd buy that. Uh, and I wouldn't. No. So, sorry. Thumbs down from me. Yes. It's not the best. Who <laughs> can eat all that? <laughs> right. No. We're done on that. See you later. See you later.